Hey darlings and welcome back to Everything Tomo Tutorials with Creative Vinyl Designs. Today I'm going to show you how we are going to upload an image. So I already know an image that I want to use which is Faith Over Fear that I've already done before because I cut it out and put it on my wall. It was significant to me so I wanted to show you with this image. Now please keep in mind anything that you did not make is considered copyright. You can use the images for personal use only, and in this particular case, I put it in my um, garage in which I create uh, converted into my crafting space. So I just thought this was super fun. This was something special to me, and so I put this on my wall. But for tutorial purposes, I wanted to show you how we're gonna um, bring this and upload this into Design Space so that you can cut it and or print it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it, and it's already labeled Faith Over, For, um, Faith Over Fear. We're going to save it into the desktop. Oh, not quick access, but I guess that could work too. Let's go to desktop. So we're going to save it to desktop, and then we're going to go back to Cricut, and we're going to go right here to where it says Upload. Upload image again. Now we're going to browse. Make sure you know where your image is saved so that you can easily access it with not, you know, hunting it down. So here it is, and we're going to open. Now you have three options, simple, moderately complex, or complex. I personally always do everything complex. So now we're just going to continue. We're going to bring this down. We're going to zoom out just a little bit. Now, in this particular case, we have, <coughs> excuse me, we have uh, select and erase, the eraser tool, and the crop tool up here in the upper left-hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and use the crop tool just to weed out some of the white. Zoom it out a little bit. And now we're going to go to the select and erase tool, and we're going to remove the white. Now, as you can see, we still have tons of white. So if we hit preview and we were to save this as is, that's how it's going to cut. And that's not what we want. So we're going to continue with the select and erase tool and we're going to remove all the white. Click preview again just to make sure everything's nice and tight, which it is. This looks, this looks really good. So in this case, we're just going to hit continue. Now, save as a print, then cut. That's not what we want. We want to cut this image. Say we want to put it on our wall. This is where this is where we're going to be. Cut image. And then it's already, the image name is already saved, Faith Over Fear. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Then we're going to hit save. Then we're going to click on it and highlight it where you can see it's green. And then we're going to come to the bottom right and insert images. It's going to pull up into our design space. And here's where you can size it to whatever is suitable for you. So I think I made mine like a 9x9 nine nine or a 10x10 10 10 when I put it on my wall. But I want this to be super big so when I go to the make it, you guys can see exactly how this looks. I'm going to change the color also so when we get to the make it section you can see it better than if it were with the black mat. So this is the size that we're going to pretend to go with and then I'm going to click make it. And now this is what it's going to look like on my mat. It's literally ready to go. All I would have to do is hit continue and it's ready to cut. Now for example if you wanted to iron this on or heat press this on with heat transfer vinyl go over to where it says mirror it's super important with HTV which is heat transfer vinyl that you mirror image so that it will print out correctly so that when you place it on to whatever item in which you're gonna press it it's ready to rock and roll but in this case this was gonna be for the wall which already was for the wall so I would make sure that I left it reading correctly But since we've already done it, we can back out. And 
And basically that's it. That's how you upload something into your design space and weeding out that, that background so that you get a perfect cut. Okay, thank you so much for joining me back with Everything Tumblr Tutorials, and I look forward to seeing you on the next Cricut Design Space tutorial.